Welcome to another video. As we continue our discussion on the set of questions of Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2019 Elimination Round for Grade 9, this time, let us answer the set of questions from 31 to 35. On number 31, how many three-digit number can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 if the digits are unique? So to identify the number of three-digit number that can be formed using the given numbers, let us have three blanks. One, two, three. On the first blank, how many numbers that can we write in the first blank? So we have five numbers here. So all of the numbers can be written here. So therefore, we are going to write five. And then on the second blank, how many numbers that can we write on the second blank? So we are going to write 4 because one of the numbers is written in the first blank. So there are only 4. Followed by 3 because 2 of the numbers is written in the first and second blank. So to find the number of 3 digits, we are going to multiply 5 times 4 times 3. It will give us 60 and this will be our answer. On number 32, a class has 20 girls and 30 boys. Half of the girls and one-third of the boys wear eyeglasses. If a student is picked a random from this class, what is the probability of these students wearing eyeglasses? So this problem is an example of probability of an event. In probability of an event, we are going to use the formula. Probability of an event equals number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. Since the number of students in a class is 50, the number of possible outcomes is 50. And we are looking for the number of favorable outcomes. So to find the number of favorable outcomes, we are going to have 20 girls and one half of the girls is 10. And then we have 30 boys and one third of the boys is 10. That is 30 times 1 divided by 3 is 10. So therefore, the students wearing eyeglasses is 20. So therefore, the number of favorable outcome is 20. So let us have 20 over 50. So it will give us 2 over 5. So the probability of the students wearing eyeglasses is 2 over 5. And this will be our answer. On number 33, the three sides of a triangle have integer length. If two sides have lengths 4 and 9, what is the least possible length of the third side? So whenever you encounter this kind of problem, how can you find the least possible length of the third side? So to find the least possible length of the third side, let us have x greater than 9 minus 4. So these are the two sides of a triangle less than 9 plus 4. And to simplify, it will give us x greater than 9 minus 4, that is 5, and then less than 9 plus 4, that is 13. So the largest possible value is not be equal to 13. So the largest possible value is 12. But since we are looking for the least possible value, it can be equal to 5. So therefore, the least possible value of x in the given triangle is 6. Because the range of values of x is 5 to 13. And 5 is not included together with 13. So the value of x is 6. That will be our answer. On number 34, in triangle ABC, angle A equals 71 degrees and angle C equals 67 degrees. Which of the three sides of a triangle is the shortest? So to identify which of the sides is shortest, let us illustrate the given. So let us have triangle A. B, and C. 
Angle A measure 71 degrees. Angle C measure 67 degrees. And we all know that the interior angle of a triangle measures 180 degrees. Let us have 71 degrees plus 67 degrees. If you are going to add this one, it will give us 138 degrees. And to find the measure of angle B, let us have 180 degrees minus 138 degrees. And it will, it will give us 42 degrees. So this will be the measure of angle B, 42 degrees. Since angle B will be the smallest angle, the opposite side of angle B will be the shortest side. So therefore, the shortest side in the given triangle is side AC. And this will be our answer. On number 35, in the given figure, angle ADB equals 120 degrees and angle CDB equals 140 degrees and AD equals CD. If AB equals 3x minus 6 and CB equals 24, what are the possible values of x? So to find the possible value of x, let us equate 3x minus 6 less than 24. We use less than because the opposite angles, angle of 3x minus 6 is 120 degrees which is less than 140. So let us have this equation. So let us have 3x less than 24 plus 6 that is 3x less than 24 plus 6 that is 30 and let us divide this one by 3 so x is less than 30 divided by 3 that is 10 and then let us have 3x minus 6 greater than 0 so to have the value of x that is 3x greater than 6 Divide both sides by 3. So let us have x greater than 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So therefore, the range of the possible value of x, that is x greater than 2, but less than 10. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.